Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, can you do one on knife sheaths in the Wild West? Nodge, uh, Noge, Gonzalez. Knife sheaths in the Old West, we can do that. But how about we actually make a knife sheath? Roll film. Knife sheaths are an essential part to blade ownership on my challenge! By the ancient laws of combat, we are met at this chosen ground to settle for good and all! Who holds sway over the five points? And they also happen to be pretty easy to make. I bought plenty of knives over the years that didn't come with a sheath, or the sheath they came with was ugly, like the one that came with this carbon steel Missouri belt knife. So, let's make one. Now, in the era of the Old West, there were a lot of different sheath types to fit a lot of different knives. I thought about going with a loop that my gun belt would thread through. The problem is, I don't always wear it on my belt depending on the character I'm playing. Therefore, I decided to go with the classic center seam sheath. This design has been around since the Middle Ages, maybe even before. I made one previously and Dirty Dan wanted to use it as a prototype for making more for his movie prop business. I gladly gave it over. Sure, I like that. Here, hand it here. Okay, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I guess I should mention before we get started that this is not an introductory leatherworking tutorial. I'll go through some steps kind of fast. Don't be alarmed, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube if you're interested in detailed basics. It's got to be drummed in your dear little ear. You've got to be carefully taught. Uh -oh. So, for this sheaf, I'm using a piece of 5 ounce leather. Before cutting the leather, I'm going to make a pattern on some thicker cardstock. Simply fold it in half, put the spine of the knife against the seam, and trace around it, stopping at the hilt. Mark another line a quarter inch from your original tracing and cut it out. Make sure this is going to be a good fit, transfer your pattern onto the leather, then cut that out. At this point, I would wrap your knife in saran wrap, wet the leather to make it pliable, and refit the knife so you have an idea what to expect. Anything you say, Butch. Gonna shoot him now? So, use a stitching groove or 1 8 inch from the edge, and make a guide for the stitches on parts you're sewing. For this project, I used a hole chisel to punch the holes for sewing. If you're going to put any stamping or tooling on the sheath, now is the time to do it. I'm punching a hole in the front to put a Sam Brown stud in. This will keep the sheath from slipping through the belt. If the flesh side of the piece of leather looks rough, you can sand it or use gum tragacanth to smooth it down. This chunk looks pretty good the way it is. Glue the two edges and start your sewing process. I use a saddle stitch for everything leather, and there are video tutorials on this technique all over the web, so I'll put a link in the description field for one of them. Now, this is the fun part. Wet the leather and insert the knife with the seam on the inside. It probably will be a little tight. Work the leather to loosen up some of those fibers. While it's still moist, burnish the seam with a polished tool handle, piece of denim, or antler. Adding some beeswax will polish it up nicely. Now let the whole thing dry. If you've noticed, I chose an area of the leather with a scratch, and I further distressed it to give it some character. At this point, you can add some olive or neat's foot oil, give it a suntan, or dye it. I have a container of walnut stain I've been really fond of lately, so it's going to take a bath in that for about half a day. So, there you have it. If you like this DIY project, I'll do more in the future. It's about time for some new spur straps anyway. Okay, well that's it on knife sheets. Um, oh, by the way, Casey, who uh, is one of our subscribers, you know Casey. Yeah, Santa Claus. Santa Claus, right. Well, Casey says that you're on the naughty list, so... Uh, oh, no, I, I can't imagine say it ain't so. Folks. Hey, folks, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Well, I was going to say the I whole... I got you. No problem. See ya.
it ain't so. Folks, that's it for that bird. <laughs>